This may be the best unboxing we have ever done at Geek Culture. Right here, we've got the HasLab Proton Pack in the house. You can only get this from crowdfunding sources or if you know somebody at a collector store, but we've got it right here. Plus, we've got Hasbro's Neutrona wand as well to go along with this. I am pumped. Zach, are you ready for this? Hell yeah. Let's do this bad boy. Come on. Okay, this box is, oh shit, this is heavy, man. What is this, about 16 kg, 20 kg? If you're getting this, this is what to expect. And I think the cardboard box is even bigger. This is massive. Now, of course, it looks like a, ch a chest. We've got the warning stickers on it, the Ghostbuster logo, it's weathered. They're saying this is a screen copy, one-to-one -one replica, what we're seeing from Ghostbusters. And of course, it's gonna be modeled after the 84 and then the uh, 2021 Afterlife movie. Whew. This is awesome, let's do this. Okay, open up the box here real quick. Oh, this is cool, check this out. Let me see if I tilt that for you guys. You see that right there? That is actually the wood underneath Spangler's chair. Remember at his old house where he was, he was killed and he put things underneath the trap door, slide it open and look what pops up. Like the trap door underneath the chair. Very, very cool. Some nice afterlife references in here. Now we've got in this kit, we've got the little mini marshmallow men as well as of course the proton pack and we've got the hoses. Now we didn't get the slime because that is when, you know, part of the, I think, first tier of the crowdfunding. But nonetheless, we've got all pretty much everything we need here. Let's open up, up this here real quick. It's called the Phantasmical Samples, Handle with Care in the white box. Then we also got this box here as well. It looks like a ghost trap, but this is where the marshmallow men are inside. Let me just close this up here real quick and we're gonna do this one by one. Oh man, the packaging on this is absolutely awesome. Look at this real quick. Take a look at the packaging. The details, the weatherness, it looks like metal, but it's actually paper, you know, we're eco-friendly here. Now we're going to cut open the tape here with our trusty GC knife. We've got, oh, the mini Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Look at this one. Look how cool this is. His belly's burnt. Zachy, that looks like you at the beach. This one on the side. <laughs> this is crazy. I love the detail on this. This is, this is fantastic. In terms of the feel, it's very solid. This feels like a really nice, you can turn the arms a little bit, but I don't want to turn them too much because they should be like that. And they do stand really well on the table. I think each of them are burnt in a different way. This one's burnt on his left side here. Very cute. Right now what I'm seeing, this box may be just totally worth it just based on this alone. This is awesome. Okay, now it looks like we have bits and pieces of marshmallow in here. Maybe you can do head swaps on this. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the expression on this. They did an amazing job on this. This is hilarious. Absolutely loving it. Abby, it looks like you when you're pissed off. We call that baby Abby right there. All right, now we're gonna open up the Phantasmical samples as well. Ooh, okay, what do we got? What do we got? What the hell? What is this? The marshmallow fluff, the melted marshmallow fluff. Marshmallow mixed with ectoplasm? When they exploded, they explode all over the proton pack. Oh, awesome. it's marshmallow fluff. Just don't wear this on your jeans, guys. It'll look wrong. You put this on the proton pack and it looks like marshmallow with plasma or something. Yeah, anyway, it's kind of like white color to it. As you can see, there's holes here and there's little knobs here for attachments. Yeah, you could just do that. Yeah, but no. That just looks wrong in many ways. You watched the wrong Ghostbusters movie, Zachy. Let's open this up and let's continue on what is inside. Ah, maybe we have all our answers right here because there might be an instruction manual. Ah, okay, cool. We've got a blueprint on how the Neutrona wand and the proton pack, how you can display it, how you can connect it up. All that is here. I love the writing on this. It looks very handwritten, hand-drawn. Very, very cool. Oh, this looks complex. Oh man. We need batteries on this. We need four DLR20 1.5 volt batteries to this, which you have to have a screwdriver with. So we will look for those batteries. We'll have them on standby, but we're gonna get to that in just a second. All right, we're moving along. Something else in there? This is fun. The way they did this unboxing is really cool. Like this is a bit of a maze and a journey. We've got some cool stuff inside. Don't know what is what. 
This is really, really neat. Okay. Oh, shit. This is awesome. Dude, this is better than any of the lightsabers they've done before. Oh, my God, the detail. Holy shit, this is badass. Oh, man, I think I need to get one of these. Wow, this is legit. Oh, dude. Let me just explain how awesome this is. Seriously, we unbox a lot of cool collectibles here. We've unboxed almost all the lightsabers from Hasbro, Hasbro Pulse and all that stuff. And some of them are really cool, right? The dark saber, et cetera. This beats them all. I get why this is at its price point and why this is gonna be so sought after. Dude, this is insane. Before I show you this though, if you're looking for the best laptop in town, you know who you're gonna call? MSI. Meet the Summit E16 Flip, featuring the latest 11th Gen Intel Core i7 processor, RTX 30 series graphics, and a 16-inch QHD Plus touchscreen panel with a 360-degree hinge. Better yet, it lets you unleash maximum productivity with up to 11 hours of battery life at just 2 kilograms. The Summit E16 Flip offers unprecedented performance and functionality, allowing you to work and play anywhere and anytime. We're back, and let's show you what the Proton Pack looks like. Okay, this is hefty. So for you guys that want to see the details on this, it is absolutely mind-blowing. I mean, from the hoses to the metal knobs here, we got a little bit of plastic we can take off right there just to sort of protect that area. This is really, really cool. What an amazing job Hasbro's done with this thing. I mean, this is friggin' phenomenal. Even, let's say... This ribbon here, this data ribbon here. Oh man, the different materials they're using, the weatheredness of it all, and it feels solid. So what's cool on this as well is you can actually take all this off and go inside the Proton Pack. Remember when Phoebe was doing this in Afterlife and Spangler's Ghost was helping her fix this and repair it? Well, you can do the same thing with this as well. Now let's look to the back of it. Man, talk about, okay. We got some legitimate padding right here. This is, feels like military surplus grade, right? Now this back is hard. This is not gonna be comfortable. We've got the door here where you put your batteries in, but you've got this padding at the bottom here by your lower back, so that's gonna protect the lower back. Then of course, we've got a strap that goes around the waist because this is gonna be pretty hefty. We'll take that off real quick so you can actually see the buckle. Non-glamorous unwrapping on that, but that's just gonna show you what the buckle looks like there. So you can just unclip that that goes around your waist. And the straps are adjustable as well, so no matter what your size is, if you're a more prosperous individual, or if you're a leaner individual, this Proton Pack will fit you. Now we're gonna put the Neutrona one on this and show you how it's down here, because if you actually got the Hasbro Neutrona one, because that's the one that goes along with this, and that came out a couple years ago, it slides in here, and that bracket is actually on the wand itself. You'll see that right there as well. So let's actually do that right now. Here's the Neutrona wand by Hasbro. Absolutely love this, by the way. There's this bracket here that goes onto the Proton Pack. So they were thinking of this whole entire thing years ago, but why did it take Hasbro so long? Because they knew Afterlife was coming. They were waiting for the right time, and today is the right time for this. Okay, so all you do is you take this metal bracket, you match it to this, tri this bracket here, and you slide it down, and there you go. That is... The Proton Pack in all its glory. But you're probably thinking, but Bobby, wasn't there a hose that connected to the back of the Neutrona wand into the Proton Pack? You're right. And we actually have that hose with us as well. It's in one of the boxes in the main box itself. You know, you need a large hose for your Proton Pack. Always. Then also, what else we have inside of here? This is one of, seriously, one of the best unboxings we've done from Hasbro. At least for me, at least. Ooh. 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 It. It's a metal rod with a, something else on it. A radio thing? It could be a radio thing. That's the name of it. Radio thing. Do, 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 do. Hello. So this piece here goes, ah, goes here. Just push down. Another push too hard. There it is. Now we've got Wi-Fi. We've got Wi-Fi, baby. We've got an orange cap. For safety reasons, obviously, as you're walking around because you don't want to like get into a situation. It's for safety reasons. That's what that orange cap is for. Probably in America, you always walk around with this on the streets. 
you want to be safe, put a little orange cap on it. Okay, this is becoming an IKEA project real quick here. Sizaki, got all these kind of things. What's the Swedish name for proton pack? Istagos. Istagos, yes. That's our, that's our Swedish name for the proton pack. So you employ, let's just take this thing off first. This is cool. Take this off. So you take out the battery pack. We're gonna slide this in here. That's connected. Then we connect it to the bottom. We're gonna put this in here. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Yeah. Hooking up hoses and screwing things in, that's my forte. Ah, there we go. So this is the proton pack with the hose attached. This is wicked, man. This is cool. Now, of course, we've got to put batteries inside of this to power everything on because I believe this proton pack now will power on the Neutrona one. Before, we had to have extra batteries to do that, but now this should take care of everything. So I have my screwdriver from Zaki here, and I'm not going to say anything about his very long screwdriver we have for this, but we are going to unscrew the door so we can place the batteries inside of this. I'm going to show you what batteries you need to as well. All right, so we've got the batteries here, and we've got four of them. So these are the batteries you're going to need here real quick. These are the size you need for these. These are 1.5 volt R20P heavy duty batteries. It's a lot of juice it needs for this thing, man. I haven't used a battery like this in years. These are the batteries you used to get as a kid when we were power up our toys. Now everything is like. Whoa. Already making sounds when you put all the batteries in, it means it works. Startup sound, but actually it's cool because that way you know the batteries are placed in correctly when you hear that sound. How's where I was thinking of these things? We got the batteries in, ah, and we are getting the stand put together. As we speak, we'll show you how that works as well. The power button is... <laughs> Dude, this is insane! Holy shit! Ah! <laughs> the whole thing's going on wild! Dude! Holy shit, this is badass! This is the best thing Hasbro's ever made! Holy cow! <laughs> oh, turned off. Yeah, thanks, Zachy. Woo! That makes life easier. So, in terms of stand, the build quality on this feels a little bit less than the Proton Pack, which is a bit unfortunate. So, if you're looking for a really cool display stand, I'm sure somebody will make something that is equal to the build quality of the Proton Pack, but this just feels a little bit like an afterthought. Um, but yeah, the screws, we did figure out the screws and the mounting brackets are for the back of the Proton Pack uh, to mount that as well. So that's something different that we don't have with us here today. Now there's two modes, as I mentioned earlier. There's the 84 mode and the afterlife mode. Now to get to these modes, you actually can't flip a switch on the outside of this Proton Pack. You have to go inside of it, which is kind of cool in a way because they've actually designed the inner workings as we saw in Afterlife when Phoebe, as I mentioned, was working with her grandfather Spangler to sort of rebuild these uh, proton packs. So to do that, you have to unscrew this portion here. This long rod will come out, put this to the side. This bracket will slide out right here, and this will also come out as well. This bracket comes off, and there's grooves on the side for that. Now here is where it gets tricky because you have to hold this here, and I believe you probably could take these off, I don't know. We're just kind of doing a quick, quicker version of this. And then you're just going to unscrew this portion here. And we're already seeing the inner workings of the proton back, but right here are the switches. These are the switches for the motor to turn on and off in terms of vibration and the afterlife sounds. Up is afterlife, down is classic for this switch right here. For the motor, for that vibration, up is on, down is off. So it'd be cool if you could actually do that on the outside of the pack, but I guess for, you know, uh, authenticity reasons and to make it, you know, give you a little more fun to kind of dive into this a bit more. They have it set up that way. Now you take this piece off here and you actually pull this out and then you see the inner workings like the microchips and all that sort of the conductors inside of here. That's what this is all set up like. And then just put that back on, slide this. This is quite heavy, by the way. Put this knob here. Then we put this portion on. Now what's cool, if you want to test the sounds, 
You just have to have these connectors touch here on these connectors. That, that way you can actually hear what the sounds are like. So case in point, this is the afterlife sound. And you can feel the vibration. You have your volume knob here. You can go louder or you can go quieter. But you hear the vibrations, that's the motor on. It's about the highest it goes. It's loud, but it's not overly loud, okay? We're gonna turn that off. Remove this. Now we're gonna go into classic mode. You hear that sound for authentication, and now we're gonna try this. So it's quieter. Case in point 84, not as many sound effects. 2021, they can do a little bit more. The lighting effect's different too. Yeah, because the motor on this is slower. The lights are slower here on the 84. On the Afterlife, they're, they're much faster. They cycle through much faster. The lights here are about the same on the side of the Proton Pack. So uh, yeah, and the vibration is there. Now if I want to turn that off, we'll tell you what I like without the motor on. 84 sound, motor off. So you do get to hear a little bit more of it um, in terms of the, the humming and everything else without the motor, of course, because it's not as strong. Nice. Let's go to afterlife sound. You are going to get a lot more sounds with the afterlife version of it and the lights and everything else like that. But I mean, if you want to be authentic, of course, 84. I personally like this better than the 84. It just sounds more... There's more depth to it. Yeah, it's a nice word for it. There's more depth, exactly. Depth with the proton pack. That's it. Okay, so we're gonna put this all back together and then uh, we'll share what else is inside of this bad boy. Okay, so just walking through some of this real quick here. Now, this is very intricate, pretty much screen accurate. I don't know all the names of everything, so I'm referring to a Reddit image here that's gonna help me through this. So we'll walk through some of the features. We've got this ribbon cable here, which does a really cool feature, where it actually will kind of short circuit it by a sound. So if we turn this on, you can actually, you have to push these knobs in and take this off. So you get that sort of like it's short circuiting and it's powering down. That's it. Then of course you want to put these back on. It's not the easiest thing to get on. There we go. Just got to squeeze the, uh, the, the buttons in and then it locks in and then you're good to go. That's one thing. Now, turning it around on its side here so you can see this, we've got the power cell. Now the power cell, unfortunately, there's nothing in it because you're powered by batteries. But I did find a very good usage for it. You need a wallet. You need your wallet on you. Pop your, when your jumpsuit runs out of pockets. Exactly. Pop your wallet in. Now you have your wallet in your Proton Pack. Do you wonder what size wallet? Well, I have a standard LV wallet there. Just push it like that. And then there you go. You need to pay for a drink. Get on the bus. Your wallet's in your Proton Pack. Yeah, so this is the booster right here, uh, here real quick. And obviously, it's not as weathered as some images online, but it still looks cool nonetheless. You probably can weather a little bit if you know how to do that with paint, but we're gonna keep it as is because we just actually like the whole look of this entire thing. Um, we've got the crank generator here. Now, there is a switch underneath here, and we have no idea what the switch is. I think it's just there for show because nothing in the instruction manual. So it's a little bit tricky. Now, inside of this cyclotron right here, there's actually some really cool bits and pieces. We don't know the exact names of them, but they don't really do anything, but they just kind of, this is a little bit like more just for authenticity. Like they look like little like transistors that you can unscrew and screw back in. This is what help power it. But they have no effect on the lights whatsoever. The lights are actually built into this and you can't change that. But it's just another nice effect that Hasbro did to sort of uh, give the fans much more detail to a proton pack than we normally see from a consumer retail version such as this. I mean, they've really outdone themselves in that regard. Now, what's very cool about this is actually you can control this entire proton pack from your Neutron Awad. It's all ready to go. Then if we... It turns off the Proton Pack. So you don't need to hit this switch all the time to turn the Proton Pack on and off, especially if you have the Neutron Awad. 
If you don't have the Neutrona one, then you have to do that. But again, you probably want to get this if you get this. So now that we've got that covered, we're going to show you what else is inside the box here. And it's actually some paperwork. So we got these 1980s stickers here that if you want to stick it on somewhere, you can. It's kind of cool, you know, because back in the 80s, they always had these fun things. We got uh, Spangler's Journal, which is quite detailed in terms of writings and stuff like that. It's all inside there. Pictures of his family, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We got more stickers covering Afterlife. So kind of bringing the 84 vibe into 2021. And then if you have the 84 pack, uh, now there's various different packs when you uh, got this on, the, on crowdfunding, you can actually get uh, more of a newer look and then that's where these stickers come into play. So if I want to replace these stickers with this to give it the 84 fresh look, then you could do it with this. But honestly speaking, the weathering, the details, the way it looks, I wouldn't even touch this thing. I would not add another sticker on it. I mean, you maybe want to weather this, but you don't have to. Outside of that, it is friggin' amazing. So, you know what that means, Zachy. We got a proton pack here. We got a Neutrona wand. It's time to suit up and fight some ghosts. <laughs> place is creepy. So, impressions wearing this thing? It's heavy, man. This is very, very heavy. I'll tell you what, if you are a uh, smaller person who's not that strong, you're gonna feel this in a bit. Because there's really no padding on the back of it, so it's just hard plastic. Of course, you have padding right here at the lower back, which isn't so bad. But uh, yeah, you're gonna... Yeah. I think after about 10, 15 minutes, you're gonna be like, all right, I'm done with this but it's badass. This age is really cool. Up? No, it's not age, man. This is called weight. It's heavy. Anyway, let's go, uh, let's go catch some ghosts. Uncle. Hey. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he figured that one out. Do you guys see ghosts? Yeah. Any ghost? Yeah. No ghost? Excuse me. Sorry. Have you seen ghosts? Oh, so you are okay, 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 okay. Hi. Uh, we got a call around here, some disturbance. Was there a ghost or something or no? no idea. Ghostbuster. No? Okay. All right. I'll look out. It's the hotel. We definitely. There's, have... there's always ghosts in hotels. There's always ghosts in hotels. Let's go. Hi. Um, we got a call. Was there a disturbance here? Some sort of, like some sort of demons or ghosts? I'm on a Ghostbuster. Any sort of demons or ghosts upstairs? You sure? I'll check the perimeter. What's going on? Hey, hey. Hey, I hear you guys got some ghosts inside. Ghostbuster! You got ghosts inside? I don't have a ghost. You sure? Sure, no problem. You want me to go check? No problem, sir. I'll go check. I'll go check. Let's go, Zachy. No? Ghost? Okay, ghost back right there. Okay, let's go. Okay, this way. Ghost in here. I can't fit. I can't fit in there. I can't fit in there. Did you see a ghost? Where was the ghost at? Where was the ghost? No. Do I see any ghost? Any ghost? No. No ghost. It's hit or miss. Anyway, absolutely love the proton pack by Hasbro. I know this is very limited. Not a lot of people are going to get their hands on it, but this is amazing. It's heavy. And I'll tell you, it's not easy to put <laughs> the Neutrona wand back on. 
you're gonna need help. It's not easy to do one-handed, but uh, to take it off is pretty good. But uh, overall, this is for the cosplay players out there. This is for the people that just wanna dress or even have a, coll a collectible in their home. This is friggin' amazing. Man, it's not cheap, but it's worth having if you can afford it. Anyway, those are all my thoughts on the Proton Pack and the Neutrona One by Hasbro. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, check out more of our collectible videos right here.